It's just a lazy Thursday, well, Friday when you're watching this in Orange County. I'm just wearing the shirt I slept in. I haven't done my hair or my makeup except for some lipstick. So a couple of things before I get started. I replaced the sunglasses that I lost in Disneyland. Feels so good to have them back. Hoping that Indiana Jones worker likes my sunglasses that I lost. I got a couple of things the other day for YouTube. YouTube is kind of my job now, so my mom gave me a memory card, and this is an external hard drive. It is a two terabyte hard drive. My laptop is already out of memory from my YouTube videos, which is slightly problematic when you're in college or you're an aspiring novelist and you're trying to write a book, which you'll hear more about that in the future. I'm not gonna show you the memory card because it looks like a memory card. It's also in my camera. YouTube's kind of my job. I've made a whopping 38 cents from it, from ad revenue and stuff. The two things I buy too much of are lipstick and books. I went kind of book buying crazy in the month of August and I bought 14 books and was gifted one more for my birthday to make a total of 15. Technically, I got the birthday book in September, but since it was for my birthday, which is in August, I'm going to count it in this August book haul. And I know we're already more than a week into September, but like, whatever. It's an August book haul. I got these books in August, okay? The first book that kind of kicked off this book buying craze, Wanderlust by Jen Malone. I am about halfway through this book. I actually bought it to replace another copy that I had. And one of my bad habits is reading in the bath, and I think you know where I'm going with this. Wanderlust is pretty funny. It's about a girl named Aubrey, and she's just graduated from high school, and she is impersonating her older sister, Elizabeth. She's leading these elderly citizens through European countries like Austria and Germany and Holland. She's pretending to be her sister Elizabeth because Elizabeth kind of got into some trouble and is not allowed to leave the country, so now Aubrey is taking over Elizabeth's job as this tour guide. I'm roughly halfway through it and it's really funny. I've laughed out loud at it several times already and I'm hoping to finish it sometime this month. Second book is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. People tend to have very mixed opinions about Colleen Hoover's books. I do have another one of her books, Confess. I got that one for Christmas. I bought It Ends With Us because the cover is beautiful and the description is pretty interesting. Basically it's about a girl named Lily. She's just graduated from college. She's moving and starting her own business and she meets a guy named Ryle and she also meets up with an old love that she had named Atlas and that's really all I've got about this one. Next I have Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I also have multiple Morgan Matson books. I have The Unexpected Everything that I'm about a fourth of the way through and I also have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This one is about a girl named Amy. She is moving with her family from Connecticut to California and she's been tasked with driving the family car, but her father was killed in an auto accident, so she doesn't really want to drive. So in comes Roger, who is an old friend, and he agrees to help her drive the car. I've heard that it's a really light summer read. I don't know when I'm gonna read this one since summer's ending, but it sounded really interesting, and I've heard some really good things about Morgan Matson, although the unexpected everything's kind of been thumbs down for me. These next two books started an addiction to the website Thrift Books, which I will have a link to under my bed. You can buy basically a ton of used books on Thrift Books for really cheap. I got three books from Thrift Books for the price of half of one new book from Barnes & Noble. I have Imperfect Justice and Presumed Guilty about the Casey Anthony trial. I've got a slightly morbid obsession with murder cases and murder trials. Me and my mom and my best friend, we were totally into the podcast Serial, and I've had this fascination with Casey Anthony for a couple years, so I wanted to read both sides of the story. The defense side, so presumed guilty by Jose Baez, and the prosecution side with Imperfect Justice by Jeff Ashton. I feel like everyone kind of has an opinion on whether Casey's innocent or guilty, and I too have an opinion, but I kind of want to see if reading both sides of the story is going to sway my opinion, or if it's going to put me firmly 
in my opinion. I'm really interested to see what happens with that. Next, I have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Yes, it is 2016. It's almost the end of 2016, and I still haven't read Gone Girl. I've seen parts of the movie Gone Girl, but I haven't read it, and I honestly don't really remember what happened in the parts of the movie that I've seen, so like, no spoilers, because I have no idea what happens. All I really know about Gone Girl is that it's about this couple, Nick and Amy, and they're celebrating their fifth wedding anniversary, and then Amy goes missing, and now Nick is the prime suspect, and that's really the bare basics about this. I know it's a thriller, I just read another thriller, The Girl on the Train, I just finished that the other day, and now I'm kind of into thrillers. I think I might read Gone Girl sometime in the near future. Next I have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. I think the cover, again, is really pretty, and I've heard a lot of good things about Alexandra Bracken. I've been waiting for this to come out in paperback for a while, but then it never did, so I just went ahead and bought the hardcover, and then of course, Mainly after I bought the hardcover, I went to Barnes & Noble and found a paperback. All I really know about this one is that it's about a girl named Etta. She plays the violin and she's giving a concert and then suddenly she like, time travels. It's science fiction and I'm not really a sci-fi fan. I've heard such great things about it that I think I'm still going to give it a try just to kind of see what the hype is about, even though I don't really like science fiction. On top of my addiction to thrift books, there is a bookstore in my hometown called Yesterday's Books. It's a used bookstore and you can get really cheap books there too. Not as cheap as thrift books, unfortunately, but they're still pretty cheap. I went and bought three books from Yesterday's Books. The first two are from the series. It is Teardrop and Waterfall by Lauren Kate. I have a horrible habit of judging books by their covers, so I really have no idea what these books are about, but the covers are so beautiful. Like when I picked up Teardrop and saw how pretty the cover was, I just really wanted to buy it, and then they also had the second book, Waterfall, in stock, so I went ahead and got that one too. Also, this is awful, but purple is my favorite color, and the back is purple, and the lettering is purple. That kind of tempted me into buying it too. Hoping this series is going to be good since I went ahead and got the first two books. It might only be a duology, I don't really know. They only had these two books, and I can only really find information about these two books, so it might be a duology, it might be a series, I don't know. The other book I got from Thrift Books was Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. I know people kind of have like a love-hate relationship with Nicholas Sparks. I shared a picture on Facebook that I had gotten this book, and one of my friends kind of freaked out and said something like, why the f*** are you reading Nicholas Sparks? This one was made into a movie like a couple years ago. It's about a girl named Katie. She's just showed up in this town in North Carolina and she meets this guy named Alex and of course Nicholas Sparks, they fall in love but Alex realizes that she has some of the symptoms of being abused. He recognizes that she might have been an abuse victim. This spoke to me personally, the synopsis, so I wanted to go ahead and read it. I wanted to read this one for a while, so I'm really glad that I could find it at Yesterday's Books. The one thing though is that at Yesterday's Books, there's no real rhyme or reason to how books are priced. I got Teardrop for like $3, and Safe Haven is roughly the same size as Teardrop, but because it's Nicholas Sparks, it's close to $8. Another book that I got from Thrift Books that's also by Nicholas Sparks is See Me. I don't really know what this one's about either. I do know it's very large for a Nicholas Sparks book. Book. like it's like 500 pages. I was kind of surprised when I got in the mail it's got like this shiny dust jacket on it kind of like you see at libraries. On the back there's a big picture of Nicholas Sparks. I opened the book and it actually was a discarded book from a library. There's this big thing discarded from East Baton Rouge Library. I don't really know why it was discarded. It seems like it's in really good condition so I mean their loss is my gain I guess. Next the Leaving Season by Kat Jordan. This is a book that I'm currently reading. It's about a girl named Mitty. She's in her senior year of high school. She's had this boyfriend, Nate, for a really long time. It says something like five years that they've been dating. Nate has just graduated and he's gonna go abroad for a year before he goes to college. He actually goes missing when he's abroad. Mitty gets really close to his friend Lee while he's gone. It's called The Leaving Season because that's what Mitty calls 
the time at the beginning of the school year when like everyone's going away to college or starting careers and people are leaving. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. I've only read the first chapter. I'm not really big on romance, which you would think otherwise considering most of the books that I've gotten are romance books. The beginning is mostly just Mitty and Nate's relationship, so it's been kind of slow for me, but I'm hoping it'll pick up a little bit as I get farther into it. Next book that I got was We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunkist. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so hopefully I said that correct. Sorry, Josh, if it's wrong. It's a memoir. He is in his 20s, and he is single. He's been single pretty much his entire life, and so he kind of steps out to find out why he's been single. So he tracks down all of the girls he's ever tried to date so that he can ask them what went wrong. The reason I wanted to read this was because people have said that it's funny and it's awkward and the subject matter is something that really got my attention. This book was recommended to me by one of my roommates because she either wants to see the movie that's based off of it or she has seen it and liked it and wants me to watch it. She's kind of pressuring me into reading it for that reason. <laughs> that is Nerve by Jean Ryan. It's about a girl named V. She's been picked to be a player in this online game of dares and she gets teamed up with this guy named Ian. They get sent to this secret location to try to win the grand prize, which suddenly becomes this all or nothing, like life or death thing. The movie stars Emma Roberts and Dave Franco. Obviously it's not really all that relevant for the book. I'm hoping I'll like it because my roommate really wants me to see the movie. The last book I just got last night, it was a gift from my mom for my birthday, and that is Adulting by Kelly Williams Brown. Ever since I turned 18, whenever I like do things on my own, like cooking or laundry, I'll call it adulting. So I think that's why my mom got this for me. Also, I'm 20 now, so I'm kind of becoming an adult. Like next year I'll be able to drink, and I'm already able to vote, I'm gonna be able to vote my first election this year. That's exciting. My mom gave me this probably because I like to refer to my activities as adults. Oh, I think I'm gonna pick this one up soon since my mom gave it to me. Alright, that was my massive book haul for August. Hope you liked seeing just how much of a book addict I am. I don't think people really realize how much I love books. I brought every single book that I own that I haven't read to college with me this year. I took up four bankers boxes and I don't have room for three of those boxes except in the boxes. I'm gonna have to find something to do with all. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I make videos here every week. I will have links and other good stuff under my bed, and I will see you all on Tuesday. Peace out, Girl Scout.